It's May 12, 2007. It's a cold and misty day here in Malibu Creek State Park. Um, my fingers are freezing. Hopefully it warms up during the race. We start in about 45 minutes. So I'm just going to run the first five miles of the race out of 14 and then turn around and walk down the mountain. The five mile mark is going to get me to the highest point in the race, which climbs to about 2,500 feet. So there's one climb of 2,000 feet, pretty steep, and it's this is one of the toughest races in the country. This is brutal. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is stay with the leaders, or the winners, to the top of the mountain. Because if I can do that, that's going to be a very good sign for what's going to happen in New Hampshire. Because these guys are some of the best mountain runners in the country. And if I can stay with them, I got a really good shot of doing well at the national championships. This morning I did something a little different. I had kiwis, nectarine, and one banana. And uh, lots of water. Some coconut water, too. We're going to be running through the fog or marine layer when we get to the top. It's so pretty up there. Check out the scenery. Well, the race is over. It didn't go as I expected. Now, what I was hoping to do was to stay with the lead pack until the top of the hill at six miles and then turn around and walk down. But what happened instead was, I was winning the race at the top of the hill at six miles by between 30 and 45 seconds. And I was kind of cruising, I wasn't even really going that hard. And then I thought, you know what, I feel good. Benny feels good. I'm just gonna keep, seeing, keep going. So I actually ran to the 10 mile point. And by that point, I had about a minute to a minute and a half lead. And I was just kind of cruising along and that's where the downhill starts. It starts at 10 miles. And I thought this, you know, would be a good place to probably stop and not hurt myself, not hurt my knee. So I swallowed my ego, you know, pulled out of the race, didn't win it, you know, let everybody else pass me, but, uh, you know, I didn't get hurt. My name is Jonathan Toker. I finished first at the Malibu Creek Trail Challenge in the 14 mile race. You were very motivating leaning up front there, and I was determined to catch you. I hadn't quite written you off but that I thought that it was going to take me a while to catch you and I'd save it to the end. How'd you feel on the hill? The major oh, uphill? The major uphill, I was suffering. I was really suffering. I actually walked a couple of the little hills just because my heart rate was really high and there was no point in, in hurting so early in the race. I was really close to maxing out on the hill oh. and I just, uh, that's why I didn't go with you. I, I'm learning to run my own race after all these years. I hope you get things sorted out with your knee and, and feel better. And thank you for pushing me because oh. you having you behind me, <laughs> Motivated me. Really? So, yeah. Oh, good. So that was great. That's cool. When I get to the start line, I am scared to death of Jonathan's quads. I got these little chicken legs here, and Jonathan's got quads like twice the size of mine, and that's what you need for this course. Yeah, I guess so. What can you say? It's a salt stick. It clips on your race belt, just right there, and um, you just turn it, and electrolyte. If there's any in it? Yeah, there we go. Electrolyte capsule pops right out. Take it, and you can eat it. So, and this helps with cramping and other issues with uh, heat exhaustion. And did and you invent this? I invented it. Both the dispenser, the clip, and the capsule itself. Great combination of electrolytes, uh, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And that's something that no other electrolyte supplement has in that ratio that you're actually losing in sweat. The last year in Ironman Hawaii, Norma Stadler won using this, this stuff, and Chris McCormick was second. Last weekend at Wildflower, the women's winner was using it. So it really, it works. So, yeah, check out saltstick.com awesome. if you want more info. And I'm wondering about this because I get very little sodium in my diet because I don't eat any processed foods, and that's where Americans get most of the sodium is processed foods and salt. Well, I don't eat that. From the research I've done, you lose about a gram of sodium per hour. So in an hour and a half event like today, I lost a gram and a half of sodium. Now, I'd have to eat like 40 pounds of celery in order to get that gram and a half of sodium back into my system. So there's no way I'm replenishing that sodium. Unless, as a raw foodist, I'm perspiring differently. And oh, that's a possibility. We'll have to look into that because there's no way that I'm getting that sodium back into my system. So let's assume that I'm not losing it because if I was losing that much sodium, I'd go into a state of hyponatremia, which is basically sodium dilution, too little sodium in your cellular fluids. And it can be very, very serious and lead to death. Um, I had an enormous salad, probably like a two and a half to three pound salad at about 8.30. Um, last night and knew that it was a bad choice but I wanted to see what would happen and you know what woke up my stomach felt fine was fueled in the race didn't have any cramps so salad at you know 830 not necessarily a bad choice because I kicked butt today 
Last year to fuel up for this race, I did agave shots the night before the race. I you know, ate a regular meal of fruit, ending at about 6 o'clock, then did agave shots probably up until like 9 o'clock. Woke up three hours before the race, did more agave, shot some agave before the race. And you know what? In last year's race, my muscle glycogen was just not there. My legs failed on me so quickly. So agave just didn't work. Doesn't work. Tried it in a couple other races and gave me side stitches. Agave, no, no. Sprouted grains, fruit, seems to work. Salads, seems to work. Last year, I had to walk good sections of the uphill. I miss a steep uphill, and it goes on for about three miles, climbing 2,000 feet. And uh, last year, it punished me, and I had to walk a good deal of it. But my legs felt fine. They never got tired. They never wore out. They felt just as strong at the top of the uphill as they did at the bottom. I've been upping my mileage just a little bit um, as I've been including a little more flat running. The knee seems to be fine, by the way, so very good news. But I'm up to about 25 miles a week now, and I've done that for about a week and a half at that mileage. And that's still minimal mileage when it comes to running. Um, you know, I'm probably the only person out there in the race running that little. But as you can see, the results are phenomenal. You know, this is my first 10-mile run since February 10th, the Catalina Half Marathon. I haven't been able to run 10 miles since then. You know, averaging, you know, between 8 and 18 miles a week, and now finally getting up to 25. And I felt really strong for 10 miles today. And, you know, I didn't stop because I was tired. I stopped because I didn't want to destroy my knees. You know, I'd swallow my ego and not try to win the race, which I thought about doing for a minute. But that would have been the bad choice. So something's working here. You know, I'm pretty much doing this journey alone, <laughs> and I'm really excited. Not so much that, you know, I'm doing really well, but I'm really excited that this is working, that my experiment is working, that I'm actually doing what I set out to do, that raw vegan diet actually is providing optimal fuel for athletic performance. That's amazing. And I want to jump up and down and scream and say, oh my God, look, you know, we're, we can win races and we can do all these great things, but, you know, it's hard not to come off like, hey, wow, look what I'm doing, you know, I'm kicking butt, I'm winning races, hey, I'm the best. You know, I don't want it to seem like that. It's about making a difference. It's about changing the way people look at food. It's about showing people that you can get all the fuel and more eating a really simple diet. Running raw, check back, lots of updates, get excited, we're rocking.